Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's me, Camila, from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dorchester. I hope you guys are still doing well. Um, I am here today with a new activity uh, that I feel like you guys would enjoy. Um, it's something that you could do inside or something you could do outside. So depending on the weather, as you know, New England weather is so very unpredictable. Um, but this is something that I feel like um, is something you could still do um, whether you're inside or outside. Uh, this is actually gonna be called Rainbow Scavenger Hunt. So for this scavenger hunt, simply what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be finding things that are in your house or outside your house um, that represent the different colors of the rainbow. So this is a chance uh, to learn the different colors. Um, it's a chance for you to maybe practice in a different language. Um, it's a chance for you to maybe get outside and get some fresh air. Uh, it's a chance for you to do something fun with your family. So basically what you're gonna be doing as you can see here, I made my own little template. Um, you're going to be finding different things that represent the colors of the rainbow. So I have find something red, you have to find something orange, you find something green, you find something blue, find something purple, you know, just the different colors of the rainbow. So once you're done with that part, uh, you can actually uh, change it up a little bit and you can say, name something um, that is uh, blue outside, or you could say name an animal that is red or name a fruit that is orange. Uh, you can change it up. You can um, make it fun, uh, make it into something that you have strong interest in. Um, you could do a different language. Like I said before, you can um, maybe practice translating it uh, into something else. You can start learning a new language. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little activity, this rainbow scavenger hunt. Um, please send uh, your photos <clears throat> of you guys doing them um, to our uh, Facebook page. We would love to see you guys. Um, interact with your families during this time. Um, but um, if you guys have anything uh, that you guys need, please let us know. Please, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here for you. We love you. And um, I will see you guys next time. All right, take care, guys.